It's the rundown. It's brought to you by Hormel Pepperoni, the cup and crisp. Mm -hmm. I fuck with pepperoni, pepperoni so goddamn hard. Absolutely. Can we just do a lower in the bar where we eat pepperoni and that's it? There's just no fucking that's twist. I wouldn't hate that. Yeah. That's I mean, it. It's yeah, nothing no more. crazy. We did water. It's out tomorrow. Um, and everyone was like, is it poison? Like, what's going on here? That's I, how yeah, I actually cool. used to think pepperonis are too spicy, so I guess. <laughs> what, are you some sort of pussy? Yeah, no. Back I mean, in the day. That's crazy. Back in the day, like I was such a pussy when it came to spicy. Still it am, is, but I can actually you know handle pepperonis. Old school with the seatbelt. Pepperonis are the classic. You're looking in the refrigerator. There's nothing in there, and you're just starving. But well, then you see a little pack of these, and you're like, "Well, I'm now gonna snack on these so this, forever." This cup and crisp. What you just you just they, you, they, they, you they, cook they, them, they, they, and they turn into like a little cup. Yes. See, that's clutch because let me tell you what I do. In my house, we we eat. Ritz crackers, shit. You know what? It's so good, yep. I'll eat it off the floor. Do it up. <laughs> Ritz cracker, these slice of cheese, make little pepperonis. And then, you know, trying to stay healthy, maybe do a little Atkins. I just cut out the cracker. Sure. I just do this with the cheese. Yeah. Now, with this cup and crisp, though, yeah. it's even better for that. The cheese kind of melts in. You just got a little, a little thing, you know? No carbs. I'm gonna try That's that. I mean, no carbs. No, no MFN carbs. You did it on purpose? Yeah. Because it's so it was good. A lot of protein. In solidarity right. with Kevin. Yeah, you know? So here's my own. Those really are so good. Serving size. Oh, this is good. Okay. Serving size is 17 slices. That's I like bad. to hear that. I can eat this whole bag. <laughs> yeah. When serving sizes are like one thing, I'm like, come on now. Um, anyway, it's a premium pizza topping, obviously, pepperoni, but like we just said, you can eat it as its own snack. Um, and in partnership with Hormel, Pizza School NYC is running a sweepstakes to give stoolies the opportunity to join the $20 chef for a virtual pizza making class on October 21st. All you gotta do is follow Hormel on Instagram or Twitter and tag them in your favorite dish that includes Hormel pepperoni. So everything we just described, I make those little, those little uh, pizzas, that would be mine. So uh, you submit yours as well, send in the pictures, tag Hormel, and uh, you could win this virtual prize with $20 Chef. 10 lucky stoolies will be chosen um, on October 12th, so the best submissions will win. Once again, that's Hormel Pepperoni on Twitter or Instagram to win the sweepstakes. I wish I knew how to make a calzone. I'm sure they're easy, mm. but that would be awesome. Calzones are, um, they're fire. Yeah. They're you know, just so kind of roll up a piece of pizza? Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kinda, you know how like Mexican food, it's all it's all the same thing, just like you melt it on top or you melt it mm -hmm. in the middle, the you inside. roll it up. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of, I think calzone is just like a pizza just in a different form. Yeah. Um, but delicious. With that. I mean, I cannot reiterate enough how much I love pepperoni. There's a good chance these are all gone by the time this rundown. Mm -hmm. I, I want, like, Hormel, can you like send your boy like a year's supply? Like, like <laughs> we're working on, on KFC Radio, we're working with a diamond company, an uh, online diamond marketer or whatever, and Fights is like, you know, we get a lot of free stuff. I want a bag of diamonds. He's asking yeah. for 20 <laughs> diamonds. Well, yeah, they'll definitely be able to come through on that. Just give us a sample of what's going on. 20 diamonds. Drop it off. But but pepperoni, like, give me give me a lot, Hormel. Uh, all right, let's dive into it. This story's a couple days old. I didn't get a chance to do it. I was maybe going to do One Minute Man, ended up not doing it, so I got to talk about it somewhere. Tyga has joined OnlyFans. And let me just say, if you are going to be discussing this with your friends at happy hour, whatever, you got to make sure you explain Tyga. Because I was talking to someone who thought I said Tiger. And if oh. Tiger joined OnlyFans, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be the biggest fucking you know story what? Good ever. Good for Tyga for getting those like fringe people who Abs think that's what's going and, on. Yeah, somebody's, you know, Dialing it up, looking, and then they're like, well, all right, I got duped, but I might still take yeah. a look. So brilliant on his part. He There mm -hmm. was a dick pic of his that leaked, and then all of a sudden was like, well, well I might as well start an OnlyFans. Right, so the, I, the story that I heard was that he was getting out in front of pictures that were already leaked or were going to be leaked, so he was like, I'll just make money off of it, yeah. start my OnlyFans. When the fact of the matter is he just has a giant dick, and he's like, I'm going to show this to the world. This dick, yeah. when I tell you, straight arrow Gennaro, I mean, it is... It points due north. Yeah. It is just, -ching. I've never seen a straighter dick in my entire life. Mm -hmm. you, guys, you guys straight or are you curved? Straight. Straight. Yeah. I mean, that was very funny the way you guys both said I hang, the same exact I time. hang to the left. Straight. 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 Yeah. I, uh, I'm yeah. curved. I'm, I'm not crazy yeah. curved. Same. But I was, I was if, if I look down at my dick, it's straight. If you see it from head on. We're talking, Ooh. we're talking. Full yeah. blood? Well, when I'm not full blood, it, it just hangs left. And when yeah. I am full blood, it... 
I curves think, left. I think I, I don't know if I've ever met someone that hangs right. Neither have I. I mm -hmm. That's I, that maybe maybe down in Australia. You know, because uh, the toilets uh, flush the other right. way. Right, different hemisphere. You go that way. Is there an internet dick pic? Or when you think of internet dick pics, what's the first dick you think of? Mine is weird, weirdly Greg Oden. <laughs> That's he, the rundown. That's just, it. Really? That's yeah. outrageous. Because it's just like. First Greg, of all, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, Second yeah. of all, that is yep. extremely funny. Yep. It's Greg. Can Oden. you pull it up for me, please? Uh, I, like I don't know if it's it. like available on my phone. Uh, I'm sure you got it saved. It's in the my phone. If I, I mean, obviously, Tyga's right on the forefront of my mind. That dick, I just, it's in my head right now. Mm -hmm. But my uh, specific dick pick is a different story. When I think of like, boom. I think, and I maybe also recency bias because I just had him on my show, Tommy Lee. Yep. Ah. Tommy Lee also was so important to the world because he made it known that white guys can have big dicks too. True. Like he has a fucking TV remote hammer on him. When he's he pulling out of the shorts when they're driving, it's like, it's wow. It's crazy. That's a big dick. Yeah, I, and during the interview, we were told to like not talk about Pam, and I respect, I was like, okay. Tommy Lee's an interesting enough dude. We can talk about a lot of other things. Uh, but at, then at one point, I did bring up his dick. We were doing some uh, answer the internet type stuff. And I was like, the question was, what's one thing on your body you would change or upgrade if you could? And I said, well, Tommy, I think we know what it's not. Yes. And he kind of chuckled and he looked at me and was like, you're right, I do have a huge dick, but like, I've been talking about this for 25 years. Well, let's move on. Yeah. And I was like, cool. So what's your answer? That's a good question. What's your answer? Greg Oden. Um, I don't know what my. I mean, Tommy is probably. Oh, you did say Tommy. I'm sorry. But I guess if I'm just. Uh, Dick Pick, Brett Favre's up there on the list. Oh, Tiger, Tiger is up there on the list. Yeah. Because he had that weird thing where the dick, the shaft is wider than the tip, you know? You know what's I, one that's, that's a dick pick that's, you don't see the actual dick, but it's. Are it's, you going to say the game? I am going to yeah, say that's the game. What I was say. That yeah. one is also, outrageous. Also, I can throw uh, Jason Derulo in there. Yep. Jason mm. Derulo versus the game, clothed dick picks would be like a versus for, you know, the, yeah, all time. That's a good one. Yeah. Those are outrageous. Okay, yeah. so I'm trying those to. Those look uncomfortable. You know. The game mm -hmm. is, is those are like just, totally sideways. It's huge. They were like horizontal to his body, parallel to his. You know. Was... You gonna, Michael Andrew, are you gonna be going through dick pics to yeah, put these on the show? Yeah, yeah okay. you are. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find this. My mom's going to be so proud of this one. <laughs> it's funny that all, like, the comments are, though, are like, no wonder Greg Oden had bad knees. Like, that's. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just, a, it's a hog. Yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, I'm man, in an Greg absolute Oden. battle with my microphone right now, and it's, yeah, it's winning. That. It's just, just winning. Like, hold... You want to do the stick mic? Yeah. Give, give I, I'm mic. afraid I'm, like, it's, like, going into my. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah. You Thank keep you. working on that. Yeah, it's it's right there. Like you can see the upper half. It's just right there. The upper half. Like you know what I mean? You just see his upper oh, half. Oh, I'm kind yeah. of remembering that it's now. It's like censored. Yeah. yeah. The, the se Chris Brown had a yeah, weird there, one. There was a good old uh, mirror selfie phase, you know. Orlando Bloom What'd you had. Say? A... I need the links. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The links, yeah. Orlando Bloom had a good one too. Mm, in the back Bieber of the had a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. A lot of dicks out there. Man. A lot of dicks. But so Tiger. Uh, he owns a chicken joint, like you could buy like Tiger Tiger Bites, they're called. Okay. And he's obviously a rapper, and uh, now on OnlyFans, he's not like a massive rapper by any means, or like a, you know, like no one's gonna put him in their fucking top five, dead or alive. Right. But he's successful enough that I didn't think he needed to be slinging dick for money. But I I think the the justification was that people were gonna it was gonna be out there, so let's try and make money off of it. You don't I believe don't, that? I don't but buy that for one second. I do believe that. Yeah. If your if your picture gonna be out there. You might as well try to let, make people pay for it. Yeah, to, to like start a whole account though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, is he gonna keep going? It's a one-time dick pic leak. Now you're gonna just keep posting. Kind of a power move if he's just the one picture on your OnlyFans. Do you see some of the other, uh, the other pictures he's posting on OnlyFans? No. Like, there's just like kind of like an orgy. There's like six or seven girls, and they're all eating each other out, and like. That sounds awesome. He's, just, he's like, not in any of them. No, he's in it, but he's got like oh. shorts on. He's just like posing. I will now be That's signing a, up yeah. for Tiger's OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, Diversify. John Feidelberg did post his first picture on OnlyFans. Was it his dick? Um, it was not. I'm in it. Um, was it his dick? Nope. No, no, it's just, it's just a picture of us in the studio. My OnlyFans name is Ubaldo. Mm -hmm. What? What? Are we, should we have OnlyFans? Do you have OnlyFans? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about like actually using it. What are you going to post? My dick. Your dick? No. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like maybe I'll just do like behind the scenes. Like there are people now who are just using it for like behind the scenes of their content. And I think that's going to be the way. It's like Patreon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it seems a little more risque. Right. It's like I might, you know. You'd be, this is behind the scenes of KC Radio, and then like your butthole. <laughs> uh, hope what Solo's happens butthole. to Betsy? <laughs> Eat some pepperoni. Yeah. Shove some pepperoni in that kid's mouth. <laughs> Get him to pipe down. Okay, next topic. Um, voter fraud. It's election season. This is big business. Her name is Tana Mojo. If you know her, she is from Team 10. She used to date Jake Paul. 
uh, she's a big time YouTube personality, five million subscribers, I think five and a half. She said, I will, I will send a selfie, a nude pic, to anybody who votes for Joe Biden. She claims that over 10,000 people took a picture of their ballot and sent it to her, and so she's sending uh, naked pictures back in return. That's a little something I like to call illegal. Uh, apparently it's illegal to even send a picture of your, of your ballot. Let is, alone by the by the vote. That was going to be my question. What part of it is it is illegal? Because so, so I know the ballot mm -hmm. thing they can get you on like a technicality. Yep. But the, but the sending a nude picture to vote for whatever candidate. Why isn't that just campaigning? Why isn't um, that under the same umbrella? I think there's something like you can't do in exchange for. It's like a good or service yeah. or money. Yeah. 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 I, think, I don't you know, know. If you were just like, I'll give you a hundred bucks to vote for Biden. You yeah. couldn't do that. Right. But it's the same sort of thing. Instead of a hundred bucks, it's a naked picture. So it's it's the same, uh, I mean, but I'm kind of with you. It's like it's like insider yeah. trading, where it's like, why is this illegal? You know? Yeah, I'm just, should, like that should be. They've just, in my a eyes, campaign. they've just figured out a way to get someone to vote for their candidate. Yeah. and yeah. that's what you're trying to do at all times. Well, if you're said, trying to get elected. You know, hats off to Tana Mojo because the, the celebrities and the government have been trying to do this forever. Get people to vote. The way to do it, tits and ass. The other question is, do those votes now not count? The ones that were sent in. I don't because know if it's like when track you track it down and figure it out. Right, it's you? like when you sell a t shirt that gets C and D. Like the Do ones I... that were sold, mm -hmm. you yeah. get the money for those and yeah. you just can't do it again. It's also like in a court of law where they're like, strike that from the record. The jury will not like think about that. Yeah, it's like they heard that. too late, bro. The, the <laughs> yeah. confession's in my brain. Yeah, yeah. So, um, this is something is, else, there was uh, some other thing. I don't know if it was for votes, but it was uh, they would give out blowjobs. For yeah, it was two porn stars. Right, I that would give that. out blowjobs for something. I don't right. remember what it was. I think the difference here, like, and this, this has got to make Tana feel good, is like she's influential enough that, like, I don't think they're gonna go track down see these hookers who are like suck your dick for a vote. Yeah. But you know, if you've got five million subscribers and you're making moves and you're like, you know. Yeah, I wonder you're, if you're it's influencing things. It's because yeah. it's attached to a candidate. It's illegal. But if you yeah. did it just you to just vote. go register to I vote, I think yeah. that would be okay. Yeah. See that? Yeah, that'd be cool. So if, yeah, like that might be the way. For the future, it'd be like, I said, if there was a sex tape out right now, who do you think would be like the number one sex tape that people want to see right now? Who? Because if that person, and maybe you pair her up with like a hot guy as well. Uh, Greg Oden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Oden and Tana Mojo. Who would be but the if it was like, hmm. what's so funny is I can do the guy side of this better. Like, all right, yeah. how about this? If there was a Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Married couple sex tape right now, mm -hmm. and they said, uh, you know, you the only way you get access to this, and let's say we live in a world where somehow you couldn't pirate it or copy it, uh, and you had to go vote to get it. I mean, I'd think 100% turnout. I think three like 328 million people in this country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a 100% yeah. rating. Maybe you rating. gotta get a little racial with it. You gotta have like a hot Hispanic couple, a hot black couple, a hot white couple. Cause I'm yeah. sure like black people don't give a fuck about Ryan Reynolds fucking, but the whites do. We definitely yeah, care. For sure. Do mail-in ballots count? Yeah, I think as long as you can prove you voted, yeah. you, you get that video. Okay. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you gotta I don't get your ass out I, there I think, and vote. I think it seems like tits and ass anytime like a celebrity's like, hey, I'll show you my tits. Like people are always about voting. Yeah. Like that's the way to get people out. So young people, they, they, they cracked the code. Tana yeah. Mojo, Rosetta Stone, man. She figured it out. Yeah, that's. I think you're right, Vibs. That's the, you know, if you don't say who to vote for, you can do mm -hmm. it. But if you just, you know, say go out there and vote. Which And you know what? Provide me something in exchange. Because <laughs> I, I, I cannot stand celebrities telling people to vote, especially who to vote for. Mm -hmm. But, like, these celebrities who are, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Right. Neither do I, neither do you. Mm -hmm. Nobody does. And you're going to tell me to vote or who to vote for? It's like, fuck off. I'm Ooh, trying to. Break. I agree. I'm trying to think of the last like hot candidate that I would want to see naked. Like maybe Palin, or oh, yeah. Camila Harris is oh, yeah. kind of attractive. I think. I don't know. I would. Um, you just call her Camille. Camille. What's her Cam name? Cam you mean Cam Cam Camilla? Camilla? Camilla. Camilla. I'm horrible yeah. with names. Yeah, no. I mean, out of all the people right now, Palin. You know, Palin was hot. I mean, I'm not going in trouble. Oh, no, 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 Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We want to say it on the count of three? Yeah. One, two, three, Michelle. RBG. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. You get it. <laughs> oh, my God. RBG. She's cute. Did you? RBG's lasting legacy will not be I, I, our Roe v. Wade or any of this shit. It's it's going to be how much, how many I, bad tweets she inspired. I, I went back and watched, oh, the, the you know, my six-year-old said uh, RBG. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Got it forever. Uh, but no, if you I watched her documentary and like her back in the day, very cute. It's weird to think that these like old candidates used to be people and not just like walking corpses. Well, you know when what there I mean? was a picture of RBG 
See, not, well, not RBG. This is too far. Yeah. When there's I'm a not... picture of RBG graduating law school, yeah. and it was like black and white and looked like it was a picture from the Civil War. Yeah. And like, and that was when she was an adult. Right. Yeah. Hillary no, these politicians are old. old as fuck. And these Supreme Court justices are old. Mitch McConnell's like 200 years old. I've never yeah. seen a picture of him young. I don't think. I think he came out of the womb like 80. But yeah. even, even okay, let's get out of politics and go to Clint Eastwood. That dude was so attractive back in the day. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, his son. Yeah, Scott his son, is like you yeah. can just see is what he used to look yeah. like back then. Um, okay, second half of the rundown is brought to you by <laughs> Bird Dogs, who is now officially a nunchuck company that happens to sell underwear and pants and shorts. Um, I mean, I've been talking about nunchucks nonstop since they've, since they've uh, brought this up. This is the coolest weapon of all time. Can... It is the reason why Michelangelo is so cool is the nunchuck. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. on top of the pizza and just being like, Michelangelo's the cool dude, uh, if, he, if he had the bow, like Donatello, mm -hmm. it's just a stick. I think right. it also yeah. adds, adds Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had the nunchucks yeah. for a while. It's, it's more of like a dance prop than anything. Yeah. Like if I had a TikTok, I would be a nunchuck TikTok. Oh, that'd be you cool. Know? You could do that. Right? Yeah. If, I could, like, could. if I could be a wiggle dicker and be fire with this. <sighs> just have a different, yeah, that's just another means of making content. Yeah. You're just the guy on TikTok who does that. I might even, well, this is if random, but yo-yo TikTok, that might be cool too. Very cool. These are things <laughs> that are nerdy, but cool if you can, if you're fire with it. Like, if I could do magic tricks and I'm also sick with the nunchucks, yeah. the pussy would start falling. For sure. Uh, no yeah. doubt about it. Uh, and all the while I'd be wearing my bird dog shorts and now my bird dog pants. They got into the pants game. Comfortable pants from the Lululemon designer. Now I've explained this before. What happened was, the folks at Bird Dogs hopped in the van and they drove to the house with the Lululemon creator. And they kidnapped her. Did they? It was a home invasion. They, uh, they, they like tied up the whole family and they were looking for the Lululemon designer. Turned out she was in a panic room the whole time. So they had the children and the husband all lined up there. And it turns out the Lululemon designer was in fact in the uh, panic room and they were able to uh, infiltrate that and then kidnapped her with their nunchucks. She then went to the Bird Dogs uh, factory and designed the shorts and the pants with the built-in underwear. Revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Ima imagine if you could have your uniform, mm -hmm. but with underwear built in. I'd love that. That way you don't have to do the extra laundry, you don't have to keep up with your underwear, yep. you know? It's just like one pair of pants, one pair of underwear all the time. Boom. Uh, you, if we could get some tan Bird Dogs, would you switch out the khakis? At, in a second. Right? Just more comfortable, you know? In a millisecond. They are very comfortable. The shorts, the pants. How many times are you going to drop your phone, Mike? It's crazy. It's Is at least three times already. No? It's Good. insane. <laughs> I mean, how are we going to find you a girlfriend if you keep dropping your phone like that? It's unbelievable. Uh, so, go get your bird dogs. Go to birddogs.com. Use the promo code RUNDOWN. When you buy the pants, you will also get this fucking dope pair of nunchucks where you can use it to start your OnlyFans. So, it's really like five birds with one stone. Yes. Um, <laughs> Second half here, we got um, oh, this, uh, this guy. John McAfee, unfortunately, caught. He's been on the lam, oh. on the run for years now, running from the government. He's been all around the world, like Carmen San Diego type shit, and he unfortunately got caught. So the end of an era for I him. need to admit something that I don't know a ton about this guy, mm -hmm. but when we were prepping for the rundown looking for topics, we asked three or four people over there, mm -hmm. and three, each person had a different, crazier story <laughs> right. about John McAfee. Yes. And now he's one of these guys that I need to go on a Wikipedia deep mm -hmm. dive Definitely. on, probably yeah. tonight, he, just to figure out what the fuck is going on with him. For sure. He's also one of those guys who's like, he's kind of like Robin Hood, where it's like, you know, I'm rooting for him, but it also turns out like he's a pretty bad dude. Yeah. Right. Maybe you shouldn't be rooting for him. Well, yeah. yeah. He's like the John Wick of yeah. yeah. computer virus people. Like someone poisoned his dog, so he had him killed. Yep. Now that that does feel like fair game to me. Like somebody said, yeah. first of all, it was funny. I, I said, we're doing McAfee. Vib said, didn't he kill a guy? And I walk over to PFT, because I know that him and Hard Factor did like an interview with him. And I was like, yo, did McAfee kill a dude? And everybody automatically, automatically thinks I'm talking about Pat McAfee. Yeah. And the faces were like, <laughs> what? Like, I haven't seen that on Twitter what? yet. I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so no, John McAfee, um, you know, I don't like to condone, I don't like to get down with people who murdered others, but if you poison my dog, I'm gonna poison you, and I think mm -hmm. that's fair game. 100%. What were some of the other things that people said? Hitman, yeah, um, man, he, um, tried to fuck a whale? Yeah. So his, his belief is that if you can get close enough to fuck a whale, you should be able to fuck a whale. Kind of a, uh, I think it's a two, two fold where it's like, one, we shouldn't be telling who, you who you can and can't fuck. Number two, 
if you can pull that off, you know, yeah. if you can get all up in a whale's guts, you <laughs> like, you've earned it. Does I mean, that, that's what yeah. say. Does that apply to like other animals though? Is it like if you can get close enough to a bear, you can, you can fuck it? Or is it just blowholes? Like, I think, I think there's, I think his point is like, you know, if you, uh, who are we to say? Mm -hmm. You know, so but you there has to be where it crosses over, where the animal is dangerous <laughs> enough. Or I guess whale is just huge, and I don't yeah. know how you would even whale try to do eat that. You up. But like, you can't. It can't then flip over where any animal you catch, you can fuck, because I would hope, yeah. because you can catch a lot of animals. Yes, and also I think you got to run into the area of like, at what. <laughs> and what quality of animal are we talking consent? I was gonna say, don't let that man into a dog park. But that's, that's, <laughs> yes. that's, what, I'm, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And like, you know how you know, <laughs> you know monkeys are, you know, kind of close to humans. Like, can they, can you know, they would have to consent. Uh, dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins could get it. Dolphins are the only other mammal. Dolphins rape. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. So that's like they're kind of fucked hear. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a oh, whole flipper. They're so majestic. They will fucking rape. Now you. that I think about it, I couldn't. The only animal I could probably catch would be a dog. Yeah. After that, I can't catch. What am I gonna you catch? Like a catch squirrel? A well, I mean, you can if catch you, like, a squirrel. Put your mind to it. If a dog puts his mind to it, he's evading you, Trent. I hate to. Yeah. This is not high school football, Trent. This is current oh, 2020. Oh yeah, Trent. He's, yeah. But I think if you're like, if I'm like, like, hey, come here, and then you can catch it. But yeah, if, it, if it's trying to run away from me, I'm never catching it. I saw a TikTok of this girl in a farm with a fucking sheep or a lamb mm -hmm. that like runs up to her. She has she has a selfie style. This, this fucking lamb is like a hundred yards away. She's like, come here, girl. And the lamb comes running over like a dog. And people were like, oh, I'm like going vegetarian today. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like, you know, I don't really like to eat lamb in the first place, but that's the only thing that's stopping me. I don't give a fuck if that lamb can listen to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're fucking far. So can any animal like that, you can like, like dogs we know, if you get them by name, they'll come over to you, but like how far, how high Apparently. does that go? I know pigs are more intelligent than dogs technically hmm. on the IQ scale. You could like teach a dog, a pig its name and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I think wow. you can, like a pig can swim. It can like be a rescue pig if you wanted. But wow. I think dogs are a little more athletic. Mm. A rescue I pig? Yeah. I feel like if you had a pig. Are you making this up? No, I'm, I'm being serious, <laughs> but I'm going off information that I remember from Animal Planet when I was in like eighth grade. Vibs is kind of a missing link between the normal folks and the wacky folks, I feel like. Yeah. Like it goes like me and you, Trent, are over here. Yeah. And the way we do our job is just like we just give our opinions on topics. Yep. And we hope that you can relate and we hope they're funny. Yep. And then on the other side, you've got Nick and KB and Lil Sass who are like making memes and basically making fun of people like you and I. Yep. And we're like not in on the joke, we're nope. the butt of the joke. And then I feel like Vibs is like in the middle where you kind of, you could like branch the two. I'd say I'm like, I'm, I don't know, uh, borderline athletic, but I'm also borderline on the spectrum, if you okay. can say that. So I'm, you know what I mean? It's just kind of weird. I don't but know. Uh, you wouldn't pick me last in gym class. You'd be like, all right, yeah. I, I don't know uh, if that, did that this on purpose, but that was yeah. a great segue to the next topic. Thank you. Baseball last night. Uh, <laughs> And by the way, yeah, so John McAfee killed people and got caught. We yeah. didn't really wrap it up, but whatever. It's, yeah, it's I, right in his ballpark. Like I said, I, I need to do more more. He's research. a very interesting cat. Yeah. Great it certainly story. certainly sounds like it. And he, I mean, he saved all of our computers. McAfee, like, he was the first one. Didn't he go, uh, not to go back in on him, but he was anti-virus protection, yeah. and then he left the country, and he was, like, living on a beach yep. yeah. forever, mm -hmm. and then now this I happens. do hate to admit it. I believe on the Hard Factor interview, he said something like, so in Spain, we're da 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 we're doing that, and then he got caught in Spain. Uh, so I don't know. I shit. hope it wasn't their fault. But, um, so, on the spectrum, we go to baseball. Last night, Yankees win big, including a monster home run uh, late in the game from Mike Stanton. Grand slam shot. The celebration ensues. Now, as we know, Yankee fans here in the office not great celebrators. They, that's not their strong suit. <laughs> and Tommy, with his like, his magnum opus of celebration, just straight up, ah! Just, uh, thank God he didn't have nunchucks. Because boom, yeah. right to Hubs' throat. And credit to Hubs, he just ate that shit, man. He didn't, he didn't flinch. He said he couldn't breathe for a solid like, 15 seconds. Dude. But, Oh. Dude, when Broke Tommy shot. Smoke starts to celebrate, you gotta watch those hands. You do, man. You gotta mm -hmm. watch They're out for those hands. They got a life of their own. They have a life of their own, and he really he does. Like it seems like the celebration after the stand Grand Slam is starting to calm down a little bit, and then he just starts throwing. Yeah. And he like I... almost catches Marty, but he gets him in the shoulder, and then he does catch Hubs right in the throat, which which Hubs just takes. But it's just you gotta watch out for Tommy when he celebrates. I don't, the high yeah. fives are terrible. The flailing is terrible. The I, noises I, he makes, he's just a freak. I don't know if it's a new persona or a character he's working on, but he's in stool streams. He's been calling himself the goose, and he's been standing on one foot and doing these crane moves and making these goose sounds. So I don't know if this is the goose spilling over into real life, but I'll tell you what I don't like. This 
This is like he gave himself this nickname, right? Yes. Yeah. And now people are gonna start to call him the Goose, and I don't like that one bit. I mean, he is a good like competitor when he tells in himself, there. You know, he tells everyone that he's Dave Franco. That he looks like Dave Franco. <laughs> Derek Jeter. Derek yeah. Jeter. It's like you're the only one who says these things. Yeah. Between breaks. Tommy just said that he people say that he looks like Dave Franco, and then immediately when I questioned him was like, uh, "I'm actually well, I made that up." Well, that's why I like to tell people that other people tell me I look like Dave. But then you get you Try gave up so image. fast when I when I pushed. Yeah, him. well, I could tell you didn't buy it. Yeah, and then like two or three girls on Twitter say that he's cute and he retweets all of them. Every single so he's, one. But he's smart because it's it's making a, a reputation out yeah. there. Um, I've just never seen someone celebrate like him. It's you so think, weird. You think it's one of those things where people, if you told people that. They'd be like, what do you mean? You just clap and you high five with your buddies. But then you're like, well, look at these 15 examples of Tommy Smokes trying to, ce <laughs> trying to celebrate. It's, it's, it's just, it's That's something right. it's always like he pops something you've never up seen before. And he's like, <laughs> and he kind of hops and he does the he weird clap. And then you can see him looking around, like, am I doing this right, guys? Am, yeah. I, am I embarrassing myself? And then just, <laughs> and sometimes his hands move so fast, although I know I'm watching it, it's real life. But it's like a like a camera that doesn't focus yeah. on the hands, and they're just like moving at a faster speed. It's really something. He's yeah, is it the Matrix where like he starts to move so fast that it's like slow yes. almost? You know, that's that's Tommy when he's celebrating. Watch out. He's getting more fluid with it too. Like he's moving his like hips and his shoulders, I'll, and it's. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you this: when it, when Marty Hubs and Big Ev are like the suave guys <laughs> of the bunch, the Yankee fans. I, I almost <laughs> when you guys do win this half a ring. Good, because we need to throw those kids a bone. Yankee fans used to be like the spoiled, like, we have it all, guys. That crew, they deserve a little something. Let's break them off some crumbs, because they don't have much else. It's and, true, I mean, Hubs barely, can, uh, he barely has a trachea anymore. I just, just jokingly before I like, did that, and I was like, oh my god, that kind of hurt. I mean, if I got a oh. full speed one. You can see it in the video. Hubs sort of like, he realized what happens, and yeah. but then he doesn't. Like, it would have been great if he had just fell to his knees, and just like, oh, but he just took it. Tommy the A boy, he is he is a special one. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, Did we talk about? Uh, oh no no, well, there's there's more news in the TikTok world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Big TikTok announcement. Um, there's a new show out there. It's with uh, one of the TikTok cats and this 45 year old dude. <laughs> uh, the Odd Couple. That's what they should fucking call it. Uh, Dave Portnoy is di is diving into the TikTok world. He's doing a podcast. With a uh, with one of them, I, I am hoping it's Bryce Hall. No, I think, I Bryce think Hall it's the king. Um, Josh Richards. Okay, so Dave, we'll edit that out. We're doing it with the king of TikTok, Josh Richards. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I mean that that I will. I, Dave can can talk with anybody, mm -hmm. and uh, but what he can't do is exercise with anybody. So if there's going to be more exercise videos, uh, our fearless yeah. leader's in trouble. Because if, if that went on for one more minute, dislocated shoulder. Yeah. yeah. He was, everyone else was, you know, they're doing the, their lip syncing and they're mm -hmm. kind of like, hey, oh, look at me. And Dave was like dead focused, like, oh, God, oh, God. Like, let's, let's, let, can we, are we done yet? Are we done here? Like, please, let's, let's finish this. First pass, he looked very strong. Second, Second pass. pass, he's, I, I yeah. think you can tell that he kind of was like, <laughs> I thought this was going to be a 10 second mm -hmm. uh, frame, not a, not a but, 25 second one. The, he, oh, yeah, no, the, the whole time though, I was just thinking like, you put a cross earring in my ear, I could be working out behind Dave right there. Like, I could be a wiggle it? dicker. Why don't you wiggle I have the dick? same body as those dudes. Why don't you dick and wiggle? <sighs> I don't know, man. Take your hat off. Yeah, push your hair forward. Yeah. Do like a like a yeah. Yeah, very emo. Do a little look, more, you know? a little more. Yeah, I have good cheekbones. Yeah, you got a good very, great cheekbones, uh, good lips. You probably got that um, smooth face. You got. <laughs> <laughs> if, you got anything else you want to say about yourself? <laughs> Hairless, top body. <laughs> straight dick? Uh, straight dick. Straight as an arrow. You would probably go for decent bucks on like the black market. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like yeah, if yeah. we ever had, I, yeah. uh, I think we were just talking about this on the rundown before, but once again, if we were ever doing one of those like um, I would... black market auctions, like in Taken, mm -hmm. where they're like, you know, next up, uh, we have like new merchandise. Yeah. It's number 1369 in your program. From yes. Indiana. Mm. He's from Indiana. Yeah. yeah. He is. Like, you, like, you'd be in trouble in prison. Yeah, oh. no. Like, I think he'd be good in prison as long as he just embraced it. He'd just be somebody's boyfriend. Yeah. Right. And you'd get oh, treated I'd like a doll. Like, yeah, you get protected. Yeah. You think you'd give good head? <laughs> oh, I, I'd care. It's, it depends if I care, yeah. Or if I just don't want to be there, no. 
But if I want it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, boys, this, this rundown has been off the rails. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I apologize. I <laughs> no, felt like my fine. RBG comment was just going to be the worst. That was great. Yeah, people Count were going to be like, fucking... this is definitely going to be one of those, like the, the Barcelona is going to be like, KFC, Vibs, and Trent, pass. But if you watch it and you <laughs> dig in, bad. you're going to get a special treat. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you yeah. what. Yeah. Uh, yeah, long story short on Dave doing the, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get what he's doing. He, that's smart. a very, it's very, very audience. smart. And it's a very funny video, but I just, I'm very hey. excited to see the whole video of them at the Sway House. And I just want to see what. Forget the it, video. I want to see the pod. Like, listening gotta, to a yeah. podcast. It's all, like an hour long discussion every week. It's about similar to what yeah. when he went to South by Southwest. Yes. And he was in, like, the Cowboy, yes. and he was with, mm -hmm. with every, like, Tico? everybody. Yes. Tico, and Texas. You know oh, yeah. Better, better than all. Classic Barstool. Um, <laughs> I think it just throwing him into those different worlds, is, it will be very funny. So I, I mean, can't wait to see it. You know, he said, like, we got to get this new audience, which is true. It's just like, should the 45 year old do it? You know, we have, we got Rhea, we have, you know, little Sasquatch. We have the young people who could probably do that, but nobody's better than the king. Nobody's better than Dave. It's certainly yeah. the most fish out of water choice. Yeah, which is probably what's good. You yeah. know, good for business. Yeah. It's um, only like a 10 second. But it, I did. They gotta, they gotta oh, do that. that's the best. That's a TikTok trend. Yeah, it, it, it was like a few months ago. They like the beat. Yeah, that's it. all. The, that's the, all they did. The, the drum and the beat would kind of go like, brr, like the, brr, and yeah. they would go like, and their eyes would roll yeah, back. Yeah, and they have head. a they have a cross dangly earring, like uh, the Faith George Michael's did back in the day. Oh. He, I feel like he invented that. I know we tried to say like wiggle dickers, like why don't you go ride your bikes and like play basketball and do normal kid shit. And it's like. You know why? Because I can wiggle my dick, make millions, and fuck chicks. Like yeah. that's why I don't. Yeah, do everybody that stuff. in that video, all those young kids, I bet they have like fifty million dollars. Oh, they're all wildly it, rich. Frankie was explaining. <laughs> I wish I, I can't wait for the video. I really hope they were filming. I'm, I'm sure they were, um, and I hope I'm not spoiling it. But I gotta tell the story. They were apparently getting getting a ride around town from Josh Richards, and they were in his three hundred and fifty thousand dollar Mercedes, and he was going like a hundred in the twenty five. And Frankie said that Dave was like, <laughs> like almost threw up because he was so nervous and getting motion sick. Oh, yeah. Fortnite, he might cry. Fortnite might cry right now. He's gonna puke. He's gonna it puke. could be puke. It could be tears. I don't know. I hate that shit. I mean, I'm not even acting. I feel gross now. Which is just like. You're not about that life, man. You're no. 45. You can't be going a hundo in the Lambo or whatever with, uh, <laughs> with you know, the 18-year-old. You know that? It's going to be special. That video screen and Hollisters that's showing the beach, I bet those dudes are just, like, fucking, like, models on those yeah. beaches 24-7. Yeah. You yeah, look at one guys, of those, like, they're doing If the TikTok it. thing doesn't work out, we'll fall back on, like, that life. Yeah. It ain't too shabby, man. God, they make me feel like such a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm fat, I'm ugly, and I'm old. No doubt. Same. So uh, that's it. After show, an enormous shout out to our boss. The boss of all bosses, Erica Nardini, now on the board of the WWE. She is only um, the third woman ever on the board. The other two, Linda McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. So she's the only, the only <laughs> non McMahon on the board. Actually, that's not true. There's someone else, but it's a better story if I say it. It's just oh, the yeah. McMahons. Definitely. But um, either way, like queen, like royalty at the WWE. I mean that is incredible. Big it's time shit. Nothing at this company. It's it's just I, every day it's a new surprise, a very cool surprise. Mm -hmm. I will say I don't know what board of directors do. I didn't. I read the article I, to figure out what it meant, and I just saw Stephanie McMahon and Vince McMahon, and I just said, okay, well that that's legit. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're on the net. You're on whatever the board is doing. It's them. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I stopped by Erica's office to say congratulations, and I was like, I don't know what what you guys do but congrats and she was like we meet four times a year we uh -huh. make like important decisions blah blah it was what a gig four the olympics meets once every four years yeah true <laughs> think about that i i, I don't know sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm gonna be thinking about that for a while uh so to put it in perspective with erica though like I, I i go in her office and we're talking about this you know monumental move and as we're doing it we're trying to light a candle in her office and it was one of those in a in a in a jar and it burned really low so we're trying to like get it in there without burning our fingers yep. it's not working so we light a, like an index card on fire and then we're trying to light it that way and that wasn't working and it burned down and at one point she was literally going Kev! Kev! <laughs> and she throws it in the air ashes flying everywhere she's stomping it out before the fucking rug catches on fire and i was like Board of Directors, huh? yeah, like that's... CEO of this company, on the board <laughs> at the WWE, Vince McMahon's dropping quotes about you, yep. and we almost burned the joint down. That's so. the Barstool difference. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, man. Uh, all right, good shit, boys. I feel like we 
Or you, like said some things that are like illegal in 48 My states. My apologies yeah. to the liberals. Yeah, anybody you want? Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the McAfee hammock? The hammock. No. Pass See, him back that the... stick, Mike. Or right, come on down. He has a documentary? I really hope I'm right about this, but I think he is notorious for like cutting a hole in a hammock so people above him could like suck his put their no, dick like shit on shit on him, shit on oh, him? Yeah. we have to really <laughs> wait a i gotta research that. yeah let's I'm let's make sure, sure that was in the doc because we're gonna have to cut that if it's not <laughs> yeah, true I'll because that's it. insanely slanderous yeah he's got he's got the reputation where anything you tell me i'm gonna believe to tyson's own let me just yeah. quickly john mcafee I think just hammock, hammock. <laughs> i believe it it's in the doc yeah <laughs> is there a documentary about him I, i'm gonna watch it, watch it yeah. yeah he would lay under a hammock and quote, he used to make you shit in his mouth. Yep. According to Reddit. Yep. Allegedly. All of it is of alleged. <laughs> Everything we've said about John McAfee, alleged. Damn. You know what doesn't taste like that? Cup and crisps. Mm. <laughs> Good finish.